We've all fallen earlier on a course than we expected. At the World Championship, this can be especially frustrating. So to help us decide who the best all-around ninja is, the NNL developed the strongest ninja competition to incorporate both skills and course results. This video will help explain how the strongest ninja scoring system works. Course and skills each account for half of the score. Let's start with the course. Starting in 2020, the top 35% of athletes in each division will advance to Stage 2, and the top 20% of Stage 2 athletes will advance to Stage 3. The World Championship is scored like it always has. Your obstacle is cleared up until your first fall on any of the three stages. However, in the Strongest Ninja competition, you may still advance to a later stage where you can better your Strongest Ninja course result. Note that of the three stages, only your best result counts, so for instance, clearing one obstacle on stage 3 overrides anything you did on stage 2. Now on to skills. There are four skills for athletes to compete in, and athletes are ranked individually in each skill based on the number of points they accrue, followed by who achieved those points in the fastest time. Each athlete also gets an overall skills score, which is simply the sum of their ranks in each of the four skills. Whoever has the lowest sum of their four skills ranks will be ranked first overall in skills, just like in an NNL skills qualifier. Similarly, athletes' strongest ninja score is the sum of their course rank and skills rank, and whoever has the lowest combined ranking will become the world's strongest ninja. Let's walk through an example. At the 2020 NNO World Championship, Justin Visco failed the final obstacle of Stage 1, Fidget Finale, in a time that placed him 45th in the World Championship. However, this was among the top 35% of adult male athletes on Stage 1, so he advanced to Stage 2 only in the Strongest Ninja competition. In Stage 2, Justin failed to complete the final obstacle, Air Walls, but again, his 17th place finish among Stage 2 athletes was in the top 20%, so he advanced to Stage 3. In Stage 3, Justin failed the Kane track, which put him in 8th place for Stage 3 athletes. Justin's strongest ninja course ranking was 8th place, as his Stage 3 run was obviously deeper in the course than Stages 1 and 2. In the skills, Justin placed 59th in Step by Step, 58th in Climb the Ladder, 69th in Over the Ledge, and 32nd in Full Swing. Adding these four placements up gets a skill score of 218, which placed him 23rd among adult male athletes. With an 8th place finish in course and a 23rd place finish in skills, Justin's strongest ninja score of 31 placed him 9th in the strongest ninja competition.